I asked to get once. I can leave right now and go to work. You said you were doing an opening statement? Yeah. I did? Yeah. I didn't even say that. I got one? Not really. Good <laughs> question. Fire away. His opening statement is not really. Uh, how's practice been so far this week? It's good. It's been good. I uh, thought it was a lot better than last Monday. I think I told you all last Monday was a bad deal just because it was coming off of uh, Labor Day. Um, they were good. Good Monday and good today. We had two good uh, practices and um, got after it today like we like to do. And we get after it tomorrow and then start dialing back some. Coach, how much is a Jordan Collins able to play? I've never given also Nate Frazier. Both cases he got dinged up. Yeah, Nate's great. Uh, Jordan and Xavier have got pads on and got running and moving around, doing some functional movement stuff. Uh, got to do indie and doing some stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm proud of both of them because they're they're pushing. They're pushing hard. Yeah, Coach, obviously they've had a bunch of offensive turnover over the last couple of years. I'm curious how much you think they have changed offensively, or are you preparing for this the same old Kentucky for lack of a better term? No, they, I mean, when you change coordinators, then you change offenses, right? I mean, there's there's uh, different tendencies and things like that, but um, their, their coordinators have been really successful. They've had good quarterback transfers. They've had guys come in there and play, and, you know, he's had coordinators move on. He's made some changes, but... Uh, you know, you prepare for the guys that, that's there, you know. I mean, you look at history, too. We go back and watch games against them and um, things like that. But we're preparing for the coordinator that's there now. Coach, uh, yeah, you referred a couple of times uh, leading up to this game just about the gauntlet that awaited you guys. Uh, eight SEC games in a row. It, it got me looking, and you and just two other teams in the league have that kind of setup where you're playing eight in a row. Granted, you have the – the uh, the buys in there, yeah. But uh, just wondering your thoughts on it. Was that uh, what was your first thoughts on that? And and uh, could, you know, could that have been avoided, or is it it just is what it is, and you just take what you get? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, most people finish their season with a rivalry game, right? We got a lot of uh, interstate uh, rivalries. I'm thinking Alabama, Auburn, but other people play rivalry games to end. We we don't. You know, we have a ACC game, so our rivalry game is is out of our conference. So that makes it difficult. You open with uh, Clemson, that makes it difficult, and uh, they fall where they fall, you know. So I'm, uh, I don't have much control over that. Jeremy, it seems like every uh, year Kentucky's got a really good ground game. Just what's your impressions of their, their run game this year? Yeah, really physical. They, they add the extra element with the quarterback. Both quarterbacks are good runners and throwers. Um, they've done a tremendous job of mixing that up and using those guys' legs. Um, and um, they're a physical team. I think uh, you know they, they had 18 consecutive runs against uh, South Carolina. I don't know that I've played against a team that had 18 consecutive runs in a long time. Um, they're physical up front. They've got good backs. They've got good scheme. Um, they they have a you know Smart has a uh, workman like blue collar. Uh, toughness, physicalness, win the line of scrimmage mentality, and that carries over into his offense. So, uh, you know, we've always said this has been the physical game, that we most physical game we've played in most years, uh, especially when we've played up there. Our kids have come out and said that. So uh, we're preparing for a super physical game with a really physical run game. Coach Turning of Dogger got on the field a lot last week and made some stops. What do you want, what do you want to see from him going forward as y'all begin conference schedule? Um, I want to see him lead. I want to see him continue to practice uh, with great effort so that he can play in the games with great effort and um, sustain more snaps. You know, he's he's practicing a few more reps now. Um, with Mike Hale being out, he's played more reps, and he's got to be able to keep the high level of um, conditioning, playing more snaps. And I thought he did that in the, the last game. Yeah, what did you see out of Janelle this past Saturday coming off the injury, and what does he bring to, you, to your secondary that sort of makes him unique in that group? Um, he's tough. He's physical. He seeks contact. He has uh, uh, learned our defense. You know, he was a, a kid that was really, really talented coming out of high school. He was talented last year, but he wasn't knowledgeable of the football concepts we do. And uh, he's – Taking a lot of reps, man. I mean, he went he went every rep last year behind Taki. So usually in our defense, if you can do that for a year, you can grow and get better. And um, he's done that. I mean, the the jump he made this past spring was just 
really incredible. And, uh, you know, he and, and Ja'Cory doubles as a safety, but Ja'Cory also plays star and gets a lot of work. And the two of those guys have really given us good physical uh, stars that can also cover. Yeah, Kirby, keeping in the secondary, just what have you seen out of the corners, Everett Humphrey and uh, Harris so far, and how do you think they're handling the, the rotation going in and out throughout the games? Um, well, they do it all day at practice, so it's not a, it's not like I handle it. It's a, the same way they practice every day. They're in sometimes and they're out sometimes. Um, so I think they handle that fine, and um, they're doing a good job of what we've asked them to do. There's a lot of area they can clean up and play better, and we're in constant pursuit of getting better with those guys. I guess we'll have to settle on a travel roster for the first time uh, this year. What, what goes into that for you guys? Um, just a numbers game of you know, special teams. I mean, with 74, you're not usually talking about starters. You're talking about uh, a travel roster of, uh, of guys that are going to be, you know, emergency players, have to go in, lose somebody. Um, we've been up there before and had, you know, a couple injuries and had to, had to fill in with guys. Um, at, at Kentucky, so the 70, probably the 65th to the 74th guy are special teams picks and, and guys that can play on special teams. Coach, I remember uh, Coach Shulman talking about uh, Joe Nail. Uh, we have much of a time you mentioned how much he learned, you know, you know playing you know, with him under him, so to speak. Is that something that's pretty typical of young guys like that? They all, they're always learning from their older teammates, or is that something that some do better than others? Yeah, I hope it is. I mean, that's the older player's job, right? You know, set a standard, set uh, an example, um, helps to help those guys. And, and, you know, it's happened before where that guy takes their job if he's more talented and can learn fast. But, uh, you know, that's, that's the unselfish na nature of our business. I watched Dan really help Malachi, and um, Malachi ended up taking, you know, taking over for him, and, and he got a lot of playing time in his place. But Dan never blinked about it, and that's just the culture of our place. Yeah, you've long said that this game against Kentucky is usually one of your most physical, if not the most. And with you and Mark Stoops being the longest tenured coaches in this league, I wonder, is there something to physicality and being that physical consistently that leads to sort of long-term success or at least sustained success in a program? I don't know about that. We've had some really physical teams and the coaches haven't lasted. I mean, it's it's uh, it's not a guarantee. It's uh, a lot of things that go into sustaining a good program, and Mark's done an incredible job at a place much, you know, it's tough in Kentucky. It's, it's got a great basketball program. They don't have the recruiting base we have. He's gone out and done it. He's gone into other areas to do it. It has a lot more to do, to me, with recruiting and size and the line of scrimmages than it does just the physical nature. Any more questions, Coach Mark? One more. What does it look like for, for Will Muschamp now with uh, you know living on a game week, balancing uh, you know what he responsibilities here and also supporting his son at Vanderbilt? I don't know what you mean. Like, what do you mean it look? What does it look like? Like what, I don't know. What his, you know we're not out there on the practice field. So what? What is his responsibilities? I guess. Hey, coaches. He's here. And he does a good job game planning. He does ideas. He works with players. He uh, coaches the coaches. He helps me. He um, he does what he did last year. It's not, it's not, I wouldn't say any change in that dynamic other than he gets to you know, be with his family. Thanks. Thank you.